Cool, it's your friend Pete with another killer video. This one, uh, we're gonna do some work here on a 67 Beetle we recently acquired from a client of ours. Uh, we're gonna be doing some AN fittings and lines for the breather, the oil, and the fuel. And we're gonna take you along that journey as we do the work. We're gonna kind of go through and show you what we're gonna do, and then we're gonna show you us actually doing it and check in those boxes that we need to check to get this sick ass 67 beetle on the road and soon into one of your hands should you want it more than we do come on let's take a look As you see, we got the a hardline kit installed on these Webers. Looks like we got some Spanish Webers here. And we did want the black fittings. It would look killer with blues, but I ain't changing it. It is what it is. Got this uh, Ron Loomis uh, Racing Breather. Uh, never used those before. Pretty much don't know anything about it other than we got a drain down here. And we got a left and a right. So we're gonna plumb this to drain in here. This one to this valve cover, this one to that valve cover. And these are dash eight males in these positions. And this here is actually quarter inch. So we're gonna get a quarter inch to dash eight adapter. And then we're gonna run uh, black and fittings with the cloth braided hose. Uh, for this application uh, so that everything in here is actually going to be hard line or the AN fittings uh, for the breather here and we're going to lift up the car and show you what we got underneath the car. So this is a Bernie Bergman uh, 2332 and it's got, it's like to be a scat oil pump and this fitting here is 3 8 MPT and this one is 3 8 MPT up here. So we're going to get new AN adapters, um, since it's got a rubber hose it's probably got the barbed fittings, doesn't matter we're not going to use them anyways. So we'll take those out and we're gonna run an oil filter bracket here and an oil filter. So we'll run the hoses to the filter here. And uh, so one line's gonna come here, one line's gonna go back here, and I'll show you that in here in a second. And then the oil filter can have one line going back here. So let's look what we got up here. As you see here with the fan set up here, and these are barb fittings so no an fittings they don't come off so we're gonna run the an hoses but with a an style hose clamp onto these fittings so they'll go one in one out and get rid of this because uh, this is no bueno and there if you see running in here it's kind of a six shooter there and uh so we'll be running hoses up to there. And then let's look at the breather system. So it's got the MST valve covers here with actually a 3 8 fitting here. Currently the rubber line's going nowhere. But we're gonna go up here with a, what we call 45 degree fitting. So it angles up, it goes up into the, in the inch compartment. Kind of showcase what we got. Nope, we're not gonna see it over here. And take that out. 3 8 pipe fitting, the dash 8, and then we'll get the fitting so it angles back down and away from the seal here. Whoops, can't even see. There we go. 
so yeah um, we'll get it so that it comes out and away from the sheet metal the seal everything kind of go through that now and get it going Whatever's burning inside I gotta find a way to figure it out I found the answers and there ain't no doubt You got what I'm looking for Uh-huh, yeah Uh-huh, yeah Uh-huh, yeah Keep coming on back for more Uh-huh, yeah Uh-huh, yeah Uh-huh, yeah Got what I'm looking for Shadow puppets. It's a terrible shadow puppet. Lines off. Dash nine. <clears throat> Excuse me. Dash eight. Black hand fittings into the breather box. The drain in the neck here. And then we ran both lines to this side. I didn't want to drill a hole down there and not feel comfortable about it. So we got that all handled. She's looking good. Pretty happy with it. We're going to do a startup here uh, in this video. But we're going to put this on a little tripod. We're going to get it up in the air and we're going to show you what we did underneath. So we got our adapters in in black and to say that we had some trouble is to put it mildly and it all revolves around the previous owner's selection of the oil cooler which happens to have 5 8 barbs on it and the dash 8 hose is just under half inch and you can't push on braided steel braided hose so we went Parker and we got this push lock hose and new fittings that are push on you push them on and they don't uh, engage in their 300 psi should be good so we got the fittings done here for the full flow we pull it back we had these little billet brackets tied in and then we did a couple fasteners here on the chassis leg and then up there we have clamps onto the oil cooler and then we updated the gas line here it ties into uh, the breather lines up here and so we can see here so the breather connection down and then if you follow all these lines we get the oil cooler in place cool job ones mount and if you guys are interested in this mount let us know and we'll put it on the our website so that's this line let's see if we got anything over here and we got the fitting the valve cover the hose going up and over into the oil cooler so when i'm awake you know time to sleep
filled it with oil, got the breather system done, we got the gas line checked, no leaks. Now it's time to bring it down. Maybe not. Maybe we'll crank it up on, on the lift here and just check for oil leaks uh, before we take it down off the lift.
What's up, Air Cooled Army? It's me. It's the P E T E D O G G E. No, I don't. What's up, guys? It's Pete. I'm back. As you see behind me, we just got done test driving the 67 Beetle with a 2332 engine in it. It's delicious. Got all the hoses done, the breather, the oil, the fuel. Turned out bitchin'. It's our first time getting uh, the ride uh, as far as ride height and uh, doing a once over on the suspension, make sure that everything is A okay. Get the air cooled stamp. It's supremely bitchin'. And I uh, want to show you around about what we did, how we did it. You're gonna love it. Check it out. Boy. 